All right, so at the request of one of my friends who actually lives in Arizona, he moved from uh, New Orleans to Arizona for business. He asked me to make a carp video because he's been having issues trying to catch carp out there. So I'm just going to try to share some knowledge of what I do and uh, how I've been catching these carp. I've been doing this probably for about three years now. Had pretty good success. I'll show you what I use, how I rig, the way I fish, and what I look for. So we'll see. Check it out in a minute. So what I'm actually doing is I'm walking down the bank and I'm looking for either a big cloud of mud where I can tell they're feeding or you'll see them right next to the bank and they'll be feeding. If you see in an area where they are, they're probably feeding or they're just cruising around. So we're going to see if we can catch any of them feeding that's close to the bank and maybe we'll be able to pick it up on camera. I don't know if y'all can see what I see. But I see a carp right down there. And he's right on the edge of the thing. He just swam away. We're going to see if we can pick him up. I usually try to find one first. And then I'll start throwing out my uh, bait and everything. Let me rig up and show y'all what I got to do. Alright. I got this little bait holder hook right here. A little small one. It's probably only an inch long. I don't know what size it is and I got two BB weights probably about four inches above it. But what I'm going to do is hide the whole hook in whole sweet kernel corn. Not cream corn, whole sweet kernel corn. I'm going to take that and throw the juice in the water and I'm going to kind of chum around a little bit. I'll show you what I mean in a second. That's what I mean by, by, hide, that's what I mean by hiding the whole hook in corn. So they don't see it and everything like that. And I put the weights up higher so they don't feel it as much. And then what I'm going to do is chum. I'm going to throw like a little small handful of this out. This corn right here. Del Monte. <laughs> and uh, I just throw a little bit out there around where I throw my bait out. And I sit and I wait. And uh, get them whenever they come. So this is pretty much what I do. I just let it sit with a little bow in the line. As you can see my little bow I got, and I'm waiting for it to go straight. So like I said, when you chum, if you don't know what chumming is, this is what chumming is. I put a little bit of bait in my hand. My bait's probably about right about there. I take it, and I throw it out. That's all chumming is. running right now. There we go. Got my drag set nice and good. these things freshwater bull reds because they fight so hard there he is right there he didn't fight me as hard as I thought he was gonna fight me so took me all about five minutes to hook up on him and I, like I said I got light line it's great, great for uh, light tackle fishing, kids. It's a real cheap bait. Bait's only like a dollar. So I've literally been out here for five minutes and I got one this fast. It's great when they bite that quick. Sometimes it takes a little longer. I'm gonna catch y'all back when I get them landed. All right. This is what he looks like. Old common carp. Got a little sucker mouth. Real gold on him. He done flick water all over me. I'm gonna let this guy go. Probably about five pounds, six pounds. Fun little fish to catch. Like I said, five minutes. That's all it took. Sometimes it's longer, but today it was five minutes. To my buddy, that's how it's done. And another tip, you need these. On a sunny day, where you can see them in the water, 
you want to see them before they see you because they're very spooky. But let's see if we can get another one. See what happens. Yep. So there's number two. <laughs> this is why I say I call them freshwater redfish or bull reds. They just run and run and run and run. I just I missed three bites and now I finally hooked up on the last one before I gotta leave. So he's running again. <laughs> oh, he come free. Well, I'm done for the day. I just missed that one. It's probably a lot bigger one. He had a lot more fight to him. I just don't feel like fishing for him no more today. And then I gotta get my kid from school, so check y'all next time. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, and comment on my channel. I love it. Y'all have a good day.